Hey, good morning, YouTube. Uh, okay, so time to get all this spaghetti and gobbledygook all installed. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this terminal block with uh, some basically spade connectors. It's going to link uh, positive and negative, so I'll put positive on one side, negative on the other. Yeah, it's a bit of overkill, but it's what I got hanging around, so I'm not going to order anything new. Uh, we've got some uh, 18 gauge uh, wire, uh, wire cutters, here's a power supply, uh, some giant quotes in the air, 3M tape. Uh, the switch came yesterday, so I was pretty pumped about that. And then we got cutters and stuff like that. So let me uh, work away on this and let's start getting this together. Oh, I uh, got a bunch of these quickie connectors as well. Uh, that's just going to make things a little simpler. Strip the wire, uh, screw it into the terminal, and then good to go. Uh, so that'll link. Instead of having to cut the end off the um, power supply and then having to solder wires and figure out positive and negative, this just makes things a little simpler, especially for breaking it down if I need to. And then uh, also on the end of the spotlight, uh, I'm going to put one of the uh, quick release connectors as well, just in case. It just makes things a little simpler. Anyways, let me work on this. I'll get back to you. Okay, I don't have great lighting back here, but that's what part of this whole project is, is to get better lighting around the saw. So I got the power brick, you know, double-sided taped to the back, to the spine of the unit. Here's the switch. Now, I used the really good 3M stuff. It's like 10 pounds foam tape. It's solid, it's not gonna change. So at least that switch is right there. So here's the on off button down here. Emergency shut off. And then the light switch is right there. So that's gonna make it really easy to, uh, to do. Here's the prong that's gonna go out to the 240 volt, which is on the back of the saw. I set up a terminal block. I did four, I really don't need it that many, but uh, again, I can always change it. Uh, so we're going to have positive, negative. The power end of the um, brick is going to be into a quick fitting into this. But I thought I'd show you this part first, uh, just to, how I'm setting it up. It's all 3M taped on, so if there's an issue, I can always get it off and it's not firm, permanently affixed and I'm not drilling into the spine of the saw. Anyways, let's uh, keep working away. Alrighty, uh, so just a little quick uh, check here. I bundled up the uh, wire uh, connected to a, a quick connect. It's been held in place again by a little bit of that 3M tape just to keep it from moving around. Uh, the little terminals are done in. So we have black and black, red and red. So these two terminals are for the undermount lights. I'm gonna start with two, we'll see how that works. The other ones are just gonna sit here by the side. Um, and now I'm gonna work on the big wire going up to the spotlight. So just a little bit of progress, bit by bit. All right, so we got a little bit of zip tie action here. Again, we got a quick connector right here so that uh, I can plug unplug things if need be. One little thing to keep in mind is that the blade guide will come up through here. So as we do along this top part, I have to stay away from that. Uh, so I'm gonna use a little bit of 3M tape just to hold that wire in place in a few spots and then uh, I'll just run it down the back of the saw. Alrighty, all done here, nicely routed. Not gonna go anywhere. The one thing that, uh, a little tip that I do is, I put the piece underneath that it wire sits on and then I cut another piece and I leave the backing on it and I fold it down. This tape stips, <laughs> sticks incredibly well to itself. That wire is not moving. If you wanna get it off, it's gonna be a little bit of work. So this is gonna hold things quite nicely and make it not horrible to try and take off if I need to. Anyways, onward and upward. All right, wood butchers. So it ain't pretty, 
but it works. So we got our line going all the way up there, zip tied up, tied up to the very top. Coming across the back of the bandsaw, comes down, comes down, comes down. Everything is organized. These little wires here are just the other ones. I'll decide later if I want to install them or not. Uh, we got the power coming off into the strip terminal. All seems to work nicely. It's all buttoned up. I have the switch here into the correct plug going into the back of the saw. So that's 240 in, spaghetti, spaghetti, switch. And look at that, beautiful. I think I'll put one more strip on and see if this poor little power supply will, will tolerate it. Um, if not, well, I got uh, two other ones and then I'll just take one of the strips off. Otherwise, this is it, all done. Bandsaw light. Done up, 50 bucks, all in. Have a great day, guys. Uh, enjoy the weekend. Uh, if you're in Canada, in the central part, it's going to get cold and ugly. But we're used to it, right?